in the NBA Finals, in the playoffs, every thing counts. In game one, the Nuggets showed their dominance on the Miami Heat, forcing them to make really crucial adjustments in order to get the win in game two. A lot of people didn't like that I said that Miami stole game two. I'll explain why I said that. I thought that the Miami Heat were gonna get swept. So if we're being real, any game that they do win is a steal. Yeah, in my opinion, they shouldn't win any. The biggest adjustment for the Heat was simply their mindset and their face. Of course, they went away from their smaller lineup and went with a bigger lineup, putting Kevin Love in, playing Cody Zeller more, in order to take away some of the advantages that, that they allowed the Nuggets to have in game one. So game three is here. And ladies and gentlemen, what did we just witness? We just witnessed Nikola Jokic and their second best player, Jamal Murray, both have a triple-double in the same game what is happening it's getting very scary it's like every time we talk about the nuggets at this point i really wish i would have paid more attention to the nuggets their style of basketball is one that i enjoy watching and i enjoy playing in this is the basketball i enjoy it just seems free it seems like everybody's always on the same page and it's always good when you have a guy in your leader, Nikola Jokic, that you can depend on and you can play off of anywhere on the court. And I think they are just officially just walking their way to the finals trophy. Let's lock in. Let's get to the reaction. Before we get there, though, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on game three. Let's see what they did in order to get this win and what they will have to continue to do in order to get to the championship eventually. So let's lock in. Let's get to it. Let's go. Well, the Denver Nuggets and Miami Heat game three of the NBA. All right, let's get it. By YouTube TV. What am I expecting? I'm expecting the Heat to stick with those adjustments they made in game two getting a bigger lineup being really aggressive kevin love the last video we broke down his impact and it was impressive speaking of impressive nice 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 good start for the heat already being aggressive using their size nice a little hesitation was nice help help nope nope nobody is doubling okay already with three field goals Struess fires a pass in the corner. Gabe Vincent connects. Mm. Murray gets inside. Gordon looking for an open Wow. Bailout. <laughs> with eight points. Murray spins. Butler stays with him. Tough shot. Great defense. That's Great defense. defense Come on. Pass inside. The Oak. No. <laughs> shot is good. What a difficult shot. <laughs> Jogic just inside the foul line. Once Jogic is in the middle of the paint, it's over. Murray gets the handoff. Murray back to Jogic. One step. Nice. And, and Jogic with six points. Yeah, Jokic middle of the paint. The it's too late. Spins, yeah, it's too late. It's too late. Jogic has been very aggressive looking for a shot this time. A beautiful pass and Gordon scores. Shout out to Aaron Gordon. Ooh. That elbow, baby. Got to be careful with that. Nice. In another one. He's five of seven from the field. The rookie Brown on him. Butler turns. That's Jokic actually scores. amazing defense by the rookie. Seriously. Butler from the baseline. Jimmy staying down on it. Staying down on the shot. Jimmy's just better. Jeff Green. Oh, nice runner from Green as he banks it home. Okay, Uncle Jeff. Lowry. One post a game. We gotta get a post to this game. <laughs> As Bruce Brown launches a nice good. first three pointer for Denver, they were 0 for 5. Green back oh my down. god, he Denver is tough. Green using his height to his oh, advantage. great pump. Martin, nice, nice. Can we talk about how Bam out of bio looks the same since high school? My been looking like this forever. Ooh. Oh, he getting up easy like that? 
is than he he had in game two. I'm mistaken, like, by Fred, I wasn't familiar with you, Gabe. It's so crazy because, like, I reacted to all the Nuggets games and I barely knew who this guy was. But all of a sudden, they bring him out in the finals and he is giving them great minutes. He's just a basketball player. Nice. Come on, he okay. I see y'all. Jokic double pass inside the green. Jamal. Oh no. No, 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 no. Difficult level. Difficulty level. 9.5. Three pointers good. Jamal Murray now with falling away like that on a three. Butler answers. There's a double team on Butler. Martin fakes. Nice. And let me say something too. That NBA three-point line is deep. Ooh. Okay, bam. Walking into a three. That's a layup. Oh, you. Oh, great use of the body. That's lovely. She. Push it. Push it. Look at Jokic. Never mind. Hey. Come on. I talked to heat assistant Chris Quinn, who said he better job protecting the paint. Continue with multiple efforts on closeouts. Jokic left open. Now out of comes out. Bang. Wow. Gordon kind of tips it in with his bigger. It just seems like Gordon is always in the right place, right? <laughs> he played that dunker spot to perfection. Oh, what's the score? What's the score? Oh, they down by nine. Oh, great. Thought it was coming earlier. Butler goes down. Nice. Cannot let that offensive player. Oh, yeah. Good pump fakes. I see you, yo. Come on. Ooh. Nah, that's tough. That's tough. Great second effort is correct. The shot, Kevin Love. The shot. Don't get it twisted. Kevin Love is a lethal shooter. Come on. That was an ugly shot. Let's keep it above. The shot. With a three pointer. His first three pointer. Now with 25. Butler right on cue. The baseline jumper 23 for Butler. Gordon. Nice pass. Oh, great pump fake. Yeah, this guy is a baller, bro. He's got six points he, off the bench. Caldwell Pope jumps. He really could play. You see the adjustment by the Nuggets normally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a basketball player. Where tell me y'all y'all in the comments. Let me know where you went to college and oh my god. Hey yo. And the largest lead of the night. He just did a Duncan Robinson with an answer. Oh, that takes bounce. Butler drives. Butler finishes with 1.4 remaining. He's got 26. Duncan Robinson trying to. I need to. I need to do some research on this guy. Y'all gotta let me know about him in the comments. Murray looking crazy right now. Great drive and kick. Yeah. Puts it up and in. Now Christian Brown is his name. 19 rebounds. Lowry double team. Oh, what a tough shot. He wearing the Grinches, too? Oh, he's a menace. Look at the pass. Yep. And he went straight up into him. Okay. Christian Brown. We're going to learn his name today for sure. Oh, nah. Oh. He just went at Jimmy Butler's chest. Oh, the game is over. I didn't know it was this part of a, of a win. Sheesh. Good defense. Good defense. Torment in defense. Give it to him. Nice. Really good. But he's so good at shooting with, like, with his strong hand. Side. I cannot do that that well. I'm better going with my weekend. Nice. That shot right there. 
Curry back up. How? Oh my God, yo! I see the spin. And the bucket is good. Thirty-two points, twenty rebounds. No. A masterpiece from the okay. Curry. Okay. Off the glass, a little circus shot. From That's the demoralizing, Loki. <laughs> Style. By the way, Will Chamberlain in the playoffs, he's had 37, 30, 20 games. <laughs> Let's just flip that stat. Yeah. Wow. I'm just saying Great shot. Like 13. Now Great shot. Ten point game now they put in Duncan Robinson to hit some threes. <laughs> oh, Duncan Robinson knocked down a couple of threes. And it's nine. And now the Nuggets can dribble it out. And then Murray just got his rebound. So they have two 30 point triple doubles. They're so the crazy. What is happening? We got to break the star sound on this one for sure. And regain home court advantage. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's go. Let, 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 let's get into these stats. Because this is historic. Ooh, th th this was crazy. This was crazy. So Nikola Jokic, straight off the rip, 32 points. Shooting 12 of 21, as I always say about Nikola Jokic, I want him to shoot as many shots as possible because they're going to be high percentage shots in the middle of the paint. He's just always going to make the right decision. He doesn't force anything. Every shot that he takes is going to be a good shot. His percentages show, show why that is the case. On top of his 32 points, 21 rebounds, I've always said as well. You cannot move him. He's too strong. And he is going to move you. And you cannot do nothing about it. This is how you get 21 rebounds. You don't get 21 rebounds from being able to jump over people's head. That's obviously a plus. There's a few ways you could do it. But this way that we see is just strength, body control, maturity, veteran, thinking. And on top of the 20 rebounds, 10 assists, this man is incredible. Jamal Murray. I've doubted you, Jamal Murray. I've already apologized. I don't need to apologize again. I just want to say you've been hooping this playoffs. You are the reason why the Lakers are no longer here. You killed us every night. And in this case, you killed the Heat. 34 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists on 12 of 22 shooting. So basically, you had both of your stars shoot over 50%. You were not losing that game. Shout out to everybody else on the team that also contributed. Shout out to the rookie. Where's the rookie? All the way at the bottom. Christian Braun. Oh, Braun, not Brown. Do I sound like you saying Brown? Seven of eight shooting, 15 points, four rebounds, one assist in 19 minutes. I almost can guarantee that those minutes are going to at least improve to 20 to 25 minutes next game. He deserves it. Of course, he'll be on a tight leash. He, if he's not performing, he'll get taken out. But yo, he was bringing energy. He was just making the right basketball plays. He seems like a player that they put in because they know he can fit into the system easily. He's not going to make a lot of mistakes. Just going to do his job really, really well. I'm sure he has a defensive edge to him as well. Obviously, in the highlights, you don't always get to see that. But there's no doubt that he's on the floor for exactly those reasons. Let's go to the Heat. Jimmy Butler with 28 points, 11-24 Two rebounds, four assists. Really good for Jimmy Butler. Honestly, you can't really ask for more in that case. But it seems like, yeah, Bam out of bio 22. 17 rebounds for Bam. That's amazing. But 7 of 21 from the field. Bam struggled a little bit um, to get it going. And I'm sure the Nuggets are just, because I mean, the Nuggets defense is just tormenting, bro. Top offense, top defense. It's just not... Not even a, a question. And you know it's bad when everybody on your team in the playoffs played. That means garbage time was early and everybody had to, <laughs> had to get in there. Shout out to everybody else on the Heat that did their thing. Where's Struess in them? Struess with three points. Man, three points, Cavis in seven. Wow. All right. So, in game two, like I said, the Heat were able to steal the game because, number one, they came out swinging. They did the same thing in this game, but what I liked about them last game was when they stayed, when they were up, they actually was trying to maintain that lead so well. They stayed up. 
the energy level was just there. It was a sense of urgency that they were just showing. Tonight, it seems like they didn't have that same sense of urgency. They had it at first and it went away. And once the Nuggets started to punch them, they just didn't have any defense, no counter punches either. Their offense was stagnant tonight, as we saw, by only two players being able to get it going. When you were limited offensively like the Heat is against a team in the Nuggets that is not, it's going to be difficult um, to pull that off unless everybody's locked in on the same page. Y'all are playing the playing well together, moving the ball, getting easy baskets. I always say the team that makes the game easy wins. And Jokic and the way they play, they get the ball to the middle of the floors. They utilize a lot of pick and rolls in order to try to get the ball to the to the, to the middle. Because when the ball is in the middle, now Jokic can can play make. He can score. He's in a really good position to rebound. Everything just makes sense. So they really get a lot of good things when they do that. So I think that the Heat may have gotten their one and only game in game two that they will win. I don't know. I, I came in thinking that the Nuggets would, would sweep um, just because they swept the Lakers. And I think the Lakers are a better team than the Miami Heat. And the Heat getting game two didn't, quote unquote, change my opinion anyway. Now it's not four. It'll just be five. But I just think the Nuggets are just too good. I am team Nuggets, honorary member, honorary fan. Just for this year, I had to give them their respect, give them their flowers. But man, what a game. What a game. History by Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. To have two players get a 30-point triple-double doesn't even sound real. It looks good. It feels good watching, and it's just impressive to watch overall. Yeah, I'm excited for game four. I'm sure y'all are also excited for game four. But y'all let me know your thoughts about this one. What do y'all think the Nuggets did differently in this one that allowed them to pull this one off? Y'all let me know down below. Show me something about Christian Braun. Y'all got to let me know about this guy. I, I, I wasn't familiar with his game, but now I am. I'm awakened. And I love, I love showing people their flowers, giving them the flowers that they deserve. And this guy definitely deserves it after this performance. He was playing with, with, with steam in him, you know what I mean? Shout out to him and what, and what he's doing. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Click the little bell. And thank y'all so much for 4,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really appreciate y'all. We have made it. We are now on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And the videos will not be stopping anytime soon, okay? I'm so, 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 so happy to have every one of y'all part of my channel and support me. And I love y'all to death. All right. So till the next video, love y'all. Peace.